What's going on, Black Thought family? It's your boy Tony checking in once again, coming with that Black Thought, man. Uh, how y'all doing today? Okay, okay, okay. All right, I'm doing fine myself. Um, you know, it's a good day today. Um, I felt a, I felt this topic uh, was was most needed, was most uh, um, needed to be talked about. You know, um, because I don't hear nobody talking about it. Uh, we hear about frontline workers all the time, but what about truck drivers, transportation drivers, right? You know, uh, your Greyhound drivers, you know, uh, bus drivers, you know, uh, truck drivers, uh, what, train, you know, conductors, right? Um, anybody that's, that's transportating any goods, people. Even the people in the air, man, you know, airplanes, man, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to y'all, you know, first and foremost, you know. Um, but are we appreciated? I don't think we are. I don't think we are, right? Um, this might sound crazy to some people, but I feel like we we are no different from the other frontline workers, man. You know, um... From the in the medical field, right? You can't get none of this stuff, man, without you know truck drivers. You know we gotta get out here, man. We gotta you know go in these warehouses as well, or however you go. How some warehouses we don't have to go, but we have to be outside in this, right? You know what I'm saying? Even though everything is by choice, right? But we still you know made it our business, you know, to make keep America moving, keep it moving. You know what I'm saying? I mean, what what sparked my, you know, because I heard, you know, I see, I heard, see, um, everybody else, you know, getting praise, you know, uh, getting love, you know, getting appreciated, just a thank you, you know what I'm saying? But I don't hear nothing about transportation drivers, man. Um, I want to go into some things today, uh, you know. My wife, uh, she was a, a, a Greyhound driver, right? You know, she was in there for a while. And she still keeps in contact with some of her, you know, her fan, uh, you know, her friends, you know, uh, people who she was close to, you know, older folks. And, um, and since this pandemic happened, a few of, uh, of her, co you know, her coworkers, man, uh, have passed, you know, either caught it or died from it, you know, working on the job, the front line, right? Let's get into something, you know, uh, Greyhound, you know, just because I feel like, you know, since nobody else is going to, you know, give you the news, right, or give you anything that, that's, that's that, that, you know, that, that, that shows truck drivers, you know, uh, putting their life on the line, I feel like I can just do some of my, you know, some due diligence toward that, right, right? That's from, yeah. right, right, um, I just feel like, you know, somebody has to do it, you know, uh, because if you're going to get, you know, if you're going to thank any, uh, give appreciation to anybody on the front lines, and it's not me renting, I just feel like, Somebody has to do it, but if it's you gonna call it rent, call it whatever. You know what I'm saying? I'm standing on it. You know what I'm saying? You know we are, we out here, truck drivers. We out here. You know what I'm saying? We out here. You know, um, understand that. You know, you know the risk that we take, man. But you know sometimes the risk is not greater than the reward. But if you're doing it for the man above or whoever, you know what I'm saying? The reward is always great. You understand? Know right. Right, so okay, I come across you know two Greyhound drivers, man. Um, that just passed, uh, I guess, you know, in the month in the month of March and April or whatever, man. And um, you know, you know, here's a you know something for you. Okay, tight knit family of Greyhound drivers. You know, instructors mourn loss of two rich men. Rich mounders 
uh, to COVID-19, right? Read into it. Okay. Okay, as you can see, okay, right, you know, it say Wright was attending a two-week training school for new bus drivers in New Jersey last month when he started to feel sick, right? He called his wife Myrtle and told her about a dream he had of an angel in his hotel room. It terrified him. I mean... That's, 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 you know, unfortunate, right? But what, but what an appreciation that, man. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I come from a, a place where, you know, black thought, right? It's not even, you know, it's not heard of, right? People don't listen to us, right? People don't give a two curves, right? So this pandemic shows me nothing different about, you know, the people, Right. But if all the truck drivers uh, transportation stopped, right. America wouldn't have nothing. It'll be on its toes right now. Right. I just wanted you to just, you know, come outside that box, man. And just, you know, if, you, if you're going to give anybody appreciation or if you're going to give appreciation to people, I feel like, you know, you should start with, you know, not only the, the, the you know, the medical field. You should start with the truck drivers, too. Right. The transportation drivers, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> transportation truck drivers, uh, lives matter too, man. Um, I just try, I just want to uh, stimulate, you know, some thought, man, and um, and show my appreciation as well, you know. You know, hopefully, you know, y'all, you guys, you know, do the same thing, you know. Um, I would love to hear your, you know, your thoughts in the, you know, the comment section, you know, uh, smash that like button, um. You know, so people can see this video, right? Um, especially the ones that that don't, don't that don't feel like or don't even think truck drivers. You feel me? Or transportation drivers at that? You know, or frontline workers. You know, uh, man, hit that subscribe button for me. You know, and don't forget to hit that bell, right? I got more coming up, man. You know, uh, salute to everybody. You know, blacked out. I'm out.